it is <laughs> it was a good idea to turn the engine on right let's try that one again it is Friday the 23rd of November 2018 now you may recall that I've been making quite a bit of noise about the closure of the final unit that's at the Dunstan Hill Hospital site and I've not been happy that the timetable for removing the final unit there, the palliative care unit, uh, has been driven in my mind by the need to sell the, the site for house building and suddenly a house builder has come along who is potentially interested in it and some of the services that are left there at the Dunstan Hill site uh, have to, well they all have to be moved but they're not entirely sure where they're going to move them to so some of those services are going to have to be suspended pending their relocation, indeed pending finding somewhere to relocate them to uh, so I'm not happy about that uh, but the uh, closure of the Dunstan Hill site is going ahead and today is the last day of operation so I've been invited down by uh, Yvonne who is uh, a nurse there to uh, sort of say, say goodbye to the unit uh, so I've got with me uh, a cake that I thought we could have uh, which I actually got at the Sunnyside Fair uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, so I thought, uh, well, let's, let's at least have some cake uh, before they close it down. So I'm on my way there now. The visit just done. Uh, had some lovely conversations with uh, uh, the users of the service and uh, the staff as well. So uh, really good time. Uh, and they uh, loved the cake as well. So that's, uh, I've got half a cake left to take home because uh, the, uh, the building's closing as of uh, today. So nothing to be left behind. Uh, the not so good news from today is that uh, we discovered a friend of ours has just passed away, um, Andrew Friend, who was a presenter for uh, some years ago for Tyne T's television and uh, got to know him 20 odd years ago uh, when we were working on the Angel of the North stories and I bumped into him at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in uh, earlier this year when I was uh, taking Richard there or visiting Richard and didn't realise just how ill uh, he had been and uh, he passed away it was earlier today so I always remember uh, not that long after we moved into Sunnyside uh, we Andrew and his partner, his then partner Jonathan, uh, came round to for dinner, and it was a bit sort of bit of a sort of self-sufficient dinner. Uh, so I got uh, both interested, I think, in uh, sort of self-sufficient, all the, the, the things we were doing in terms of self-sufficiency. But Andrew was um, here. He's an Andrew friend, friend by name and friend by nature. Yeah, he's he a really nice bloke, and really, I'm sorry that. Uh, He's passed away.